welcome to episode two of Not On Your Telly! Come! Roll got the opening the credits! Check. Who's that? Always at the ready. Happy go lucky, and we're not on your telly. Fun times cross lines, serendipity. Relax into something, not on your telly. We're back. Welcome to episode two of Not On Your Telly, streamed live from the iconic Chinneries in South End. Ooh. Have you missed us? Oh, yeah, of course you have. Of course you've missed us. I'll tell you what you probably haven't missed. What we haven't missed as a society is another crisis that makes everybody behave like the worst kind of people in the world. That's right. Petrol has replaced bog roll and baker's yeast as the number one must-have of the UK in 2021. <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's been more queues than a snooker superstore. More queues than are written on these queues. Cards. More cues than a uh, James Bond fancy dress party. <laughs> More cues Let's just say that it's been really, really busy. That's a good point. Yeah, it's yeah. been busy, yeah. Uh, the only thing that's been sadder than people panic buying is Adele's new album. <sighs> Sad, yeah. Adele, of course, continuing the theme of all her other albums. She's just released an album this week entitled 30, which, of course, is the age that she currently is, yeah. Which has raised the question, what number will we get to when she's finally happy? <laughs> uh, speaking of which, the first uh, track on the album is called Easy On Me. Uh, which is lovely, a lovely title. Of course, the second uh, track that might be coming off the album is, of course, Oh How I Missed You. Uh, and I'm assuming the third one is a cheery little upbeat number featuring David Guetta. <laughs> or, uh, uh, or possibly uh, the bonus track on the album is um, Isn't It Really, Really Hard Being a Millionaire? Oh, I'm so sad. I wonder if all this money will soak up my tears. <laughs> Who knows? From irritating Britons to insulating Britain, mm. climate change protesters have been blocking major roads in Britain, causing the biggest disruption of traffic this country has seen since the petrol crisis two weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. And say what you want about the protesters. Every single one of those people has got a really, really lovely, nice warm coat that I've noticed. So <laughs> well insulated, you might play. say. Fair play, fair play <laughs> The Queen has made the news this week as well after declining an award for the uh, Oldie of the Year. That's right, yeah. She declined Oldie of the Year because apparently she didn't feel like she fit the right criteria because you have to be, in her words, uh, you're only as old as you feel. Which, ironically, is the same excuse Prince Andrew used. Let's, not, let's <laughs> not talk about that. Let's move on and talk about some of the amazing stuff that is coming up on the show. Of course, we have comedy and music from the awesome Jordan Gray. Yes, uh, Liam Holmes will be out. The, the poor man's Paul Rudd. <laughs> Liam Holmes will be out meeting the street artists behind the incredible street art in South End on the Sea. Absolutely. We've got our resident band, of course, The Long Run, in the studio with us. We'll be meeting some actual real-life heroes down at the South End r and I lifeboat station. Yes. Yes, of course, and artist John Bully will be in the studio as well, setting us a little challenge a bit later on for Ross versus John. Absolutely, but first of all, and most importantly, let's meet the lad with the iPad. Oh, the cocktail maker with the shiniest shaker. <laughs> Everyone's sexiest bar steward, it's Cassania! <laughs> Yes, hello, how are you? How are you, Kasabian? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. I've been having a fantastic week. You guys? Oh, yeah, very good, thanks, mate. Uh, what's new in your month? Oh, loads of things. Uh, me talking about uh, how expensive afternoon tea is, even though it's just sandwiches and Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> they sell it at Boots. <laughs> So, Kasabian, you are here not just to be a, a, a very sexy bar steward, of course. Uh, you're here to go through the comments on the Facebook feed. Yes, yes, I will peruse your comments. Please, comment anything you like, like if you like me, for example, which is understandable. <laughs> uh, and if you uh, really don't know which one of these is Ross or John. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a surprising amount of that, actually. Yeah, it Ross does happen a lot. Yeah, and yeah. obviously, Ross is the handsome one. How <laughs> very dare you. No, this one. Right. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, I'm just glad I remembered your names. <laughs> so if you've got a comment to make, we would love you to make a comment in the feed. Sabian will be going through all of those and we'll jump back to him at various points during the show as well to uh, read your comments out, do all your shout-outs and your messages. Uh, now, you gave us a challenge last week. It was a cocktail challenge. What was the cocktail you got us to make? Yes, uh, you made a French bisontini. You both failed miserably, but never mind. <laughs> it's OK, I do amazing stuff. Um, but uh, this week it is not me giving you the challenge, no? Uh, it's not someone else giving us the challenge, but who won last week? Uh, the handsome one. <laughs> Thanks That's... very much. 
Ross, you keep saying week. It was definitely longer than a week ago. It's a, oh, I mean, I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that leads me to a wonderful point. I should definitely tell you. Uh, of course, this is live. This is happening right uh, as we speak right now, live. Unless you're watching it in playback, in which case it's not live. Of course, that'd be weird. Uh, but there might be a tiny little swear. If a swear does slip out, I can only apologise on Ross's behalf. Bollocks. I mean... No! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I think we should kick off with your, our first guest of the evening. This guest is unbelievable, mate. An award winning writer for Comedy Central. Uh, please make some noise and welcome to your screens, the incredible Miss Jordan Grosley! <laughs> uh, oh, hello, good evening. Uh, good evening, audience, make some noise, audience. Yes, they're there. It's my mates. Hello, good evening, internet, you sexy fibre optic bastards. Hello, welcome. Oh, lovely to be here. John, thank you for lending me this hat. Here we are, together. Oi, nice to be here. Now look, guys, we've all got secrets, haven't we? Uh, skeletons in our knickers and such. Now you might have already figured out what my secret is. I've got quite a deep voice for a girl, but I've also got, you know, massive hands, right? But nonetheless, I thought what would be nice is I could sing my secret to you through the medium of a song. Would that be all right? Good, because I'm going to tell you a showbiz secret. I was going to do it anyway. Here we go. Ah. Good, then I'm properly good at this. Look at them, they're loving it. Look at the audience behind me. They, oh, they can't believe it. <laughs> okay. This is a song entitled Cecilia C. And it goes exactly like this, because I wrote it. Now here's a little story about a girl I know who walks around town with her head held low. And that girl's name was Cecilia C. Spoiler, that girl was me. <laughs> I'm the girl they call Cecilia C. But I got a deep, dark secret down in me. Half the world doesn't understand, the other half probably doesn't give a damn. So I don't know who I'm supposed to be. Cause no one knows that I am gluten free. I've been waiting so long to get that off my chest, it feels so good. I live my life like Julian Assange. Hey, I eat my three square meals in pret a -Mange. Hey, I never get invited to the restaurant, and I would fucking alligator for a fresh croissant, my boy. <laughs> so good at this. Lord, don't make me beg. I'm like a vampire. But my church is Greg's bakery I'm sick of all this fakery Because bread is better than sex Ladies, help me out, you know I'm talking sense The only man I miss in my bed Is a tiny little man made of gingerbread Oh yeah <laughs> And after all that crummy love I'd love to find a bun in my oven mm -hmm. So I could eat it Theresa May might have lost a seat But at least she could run through a field of wheat And not die Oh, my mama I'm basically a suffragette Now lay me down and Fuck me with a French baguette It's not a silly act I've got celiac disease and Now you know why they call me Cecilia C hey? We're playing it look, look at their faces Go cut to their look They're trying to figure it out It's complicated But it's wordplay What's the point of me being a lyrical genius if you're not going to put the effort in at your end, guys? Cecilia C. Celiac. 
You get it. You, you don't matter. That's the end of the song, anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mate. <laughs> Guys, I mean, definitely should have won the voice. Definitely should have won the voice. Uh, thanks for having me here. I'm Jordan Gray. Nice to be here. Also, I'm not got celiac at all. That is a lie for the purpose of comedy. What I am, in fact, is a transgender individual. It's hard. Bloody hard work. I haven't had a Yorkie bar in five years. And I do orange ones now. I feel like I'm missing out. A lot of misconceptions about us, but don't worry. None of your misconceptions will ever be as adorable as my little grandfather, who went and told me Nan that I was one of them. Transylvanians. <laughs> now, by way of applause, just be honest, who saw me on The Voice? That was an underwhelming response. We're on camera. That's, that's been there now forever. That's something, right, let's try that again with my feelings in mind. Yeah? Who saw me on The Voice? He's loving it. He can't get enough. Oh. Shut up. Don't lie. I've done all right. I made it to the semi-finals. Ooh. Without a tragic backstory. Thank you very much. Presumably this situation was tragic enough for the producers over at BBC One. Less of a sob story, more of a knob story in my case. Sorry for swearing. I'm sure I've said worse than that already. Oh, hey, I've got a microphone and I feel like it's important because I've got a microphone to say something important, and it? That's our job as entertainers. We're given this tool, this device for a reason. I'm gonna say something important, right? This is my moment to shine. Oh, lockdown, complicated, difficult, wasn't it? Biggest thing about lockdown, a lot of lies. Oh, a lot of lies told during lockdown. A lot of misinformation, a lot of disinformation being spread during lockdown. I feel it's important as an artist with a microphone to extol some of those lies for you now. I'm gonna shed a bit of light on some of the lies that you heard during lockdown, the damaging lies that damaged all of us, right? So I've written a little song about it. It's a song that is this, that I'm gonna do out of my mind and fingers. Right. Oh. Definitely should have won the voice. So good at this. We were stuck inside for a long, long time. Staring at a screen, swallowing its lies So what I'm about to say might come as a surprise But I hope it's not too late To set a few things straight So try to concentrate Nobody asked for a gender-neutral potato head Someone made a joke, they put it in a post, and you all just believed it. You fucking idiots. Nobody cares about the sex of Mr. Potato Head. But you'll believe anything as long as it goes viral. Why read the articles when you could just retweet the titles? Whatever happened to this world's respect for science? 5G did not cause the coronavirus. That was gays. No one's offended by your British flag. I promise Muslims are not out to burn them. And kill the bill doesn't mean let's kill the police, you morons. You're thinking of that film with Uma Thurman. Kill Bill. And no one's coming after all the statues that the police are defending. Ah! And only Piers Morgan wants to self-identify as a penguin. I never thought I'd live to see the death of comic irony But Meghan Markle isn't here to cancel Christmas trees Nobody asked for a gender neutral potato head No one gives a shit, not a one little bit But you seem kinda nervous, what's wrong? You were quick to defend the biological sex of a potato head 
Sounds to me like someone's worried about fucking the wrong gender potato. <laughs> Look, this is important stuff. Transgender women need to piss and shit as well. There's no conspiracy to steal your toilets. Would you prefer I did my business in the men's? Administering blowjobs to your boyfriends. And no one's trying to track you with a microchip. Your life is boring, trust me, no one's listening. Since the virus, you refuse to order Chinese food. But you're happy to appropriate their whispering. That is such a clever joke. Why does that never get what it deserves? Why does that never get what it deserves? Shut up. Don't patronise me, you little... <laughs> Listen. Have you heard? They're making Spider-Man black They're making James Bond a lady Rainbow Union Jack It's PC culture gone crazy I saw a Chinese father Christmas in the shops I don't believe this What's next? Brown Jesus! Guys, listen up There is not a black person alive that cares if you order a black coffee People with epilepsy do not give a shit about the phrase brainstorm and it doesn't matter how much Good Morning Britain you watch, nobody is telling you that you need to ask consent before chest feeding your baby. That is all just bloody clickbait. And no one shares more clickbait than my mama. Ooh. She doesn't need to verify when she Gets out of Facebook jail tomorrow She'll carry on, carry on Spreading all that hate Clicking all that bait And sharing missing dog posts that are six months out of date So here's a little message for you motherfuckers losing sleep over a goddamn Baba Rainbow sheep I tell you nobody asked Baba gender neutral potato head Oh, I'm so good at this! Yes! Health and safety! Yeah. Sorry if you're behind me! Sorry if you're seeing something that you didn't expect to see behind me! so much why don't you just go marry a potato go marry a potato uh, go marry a potato yeah. uh, 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 uh. that's you fucking a potato thanks very much I love you thanks for having me Possible swearing. Thanks so much. That. Sorry the, about that. Sorry. Oh, the iconic Jordan Gray. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just happy it weren't me dropping all the swears, mate. <laughs> I Isn't took your lead, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be back. Thanks. It's just nice to be back on the telly again. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I hate to break it to you, mate. This is literally not on your telly. Yeah, this is not on your telly. I mean, no one really knows why we're doing this, but we are doing it. So. <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> please come back. <laughs> I mean, I'm here now. So. Please, you're actually off the telly. You need to ver verify our existence. Oh, this yeah. is better. This is well better, isn't it? Thank you. This is Thank better you. than the telly, isn't it? The audience have been drinking night nurse tonight. They're really <laughs> handing out shots of it like Jaegers. <laughs> Jordan, thank you so much for coming on. 
Thanks, it's been really nice. I like being here. You look like proper telly people, and I'm enjoying myself in your presence. Oh, thanks very much. Very well, I'm glad we at least look the part. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jordan, tell us a little bit about, uh, I mean, obviously everyone knows you're on The Voice in 2016. You were a musician, um, a successful musician at that, but you left it all behind, and yeah. you decided to go to comedy instead. Talk to us about that process. Got bored. Got, got really bored. Really really you, you don't seem the type to get bored of one thing and flip from one to the other, Jordan. Well, <laughs> I do what it is, because comedy, you know, you're comedians, you get a response really, really quickly. If, if a song's not going well, you don't find out if that song wasn't going well for about three and a half, four minutes. <laughs> And when nobody applauds at the end. Also, people got to applaud you at the end of a song, even if it's like rubbish. But with comedy, it's real. So I feel like I've earned the laugh. So basically, once you experience someone literally turning a chair around, if you were good enough or not, you were like, I need that instant gratification <laughs> straight away. <laughs> yeah, it's not a pleasant memory. <laughs> <laughs> but you, so how long have you been doing comedy for, first of all? A couple of years, three years, a few years. A few yeah. years, so literally, what, three years? Three years, and a good to ten years behind the old Joanna. So what's the math on that? You're telling people, you figure it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not just uh, comedy in the way we've seen it tonight that you do. You're also an incredible writer. Can you tell us any uh, secrets about some of the incredible stuff you've done in the past and the future for what's happening for you? That's a nice thing for you to say. Thanks for saying that about me, that I'm a good writer. Yeah, I wrote a, a sitcom, didn't I, for old Comedy Central called Transaction. And, I mean, because this is not on the telly, I can tell you, right? Because, <laughs> like, it might go on the telly. Are you going to be jealous if it goes on the telly? Yeah, though? we're going to be super well, jealous. Yeah, maybe. I mean... I could not say one way or the other that it is definitely yes going to be on the tip. <laughs> so that's, that's great. I make a wicked coffee. If you need anyone to like make the teas, make the coffees, John will sort that out and I'll just be at the back, uh, you know, schmoozing or something. Absolutely. You're selling yourself short, man. <laughs> Look, look all these cameras, all these people, they're here for you. And you didn't get any of them a coffee so far. No one, not a coffee. Um, so you are now performing live comedy at venues across the UK. You headline various Pride events up and down the country. Uh, obviously a musical comedian, is that what you'd categorise yourself as? Yeah, sort of like Tim Minchin, isn't it? But with tits. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say it because it's rude, but tits I said it. Tits Minchin, if you tits want. Tits Minchin. <laughs> you, you saved it, you saved it. So what, what my question is to you is, what, what do you prefer? Like, I mean, if you could choose, if you had to pick, pick of you a two. line. Yeah, if you had to yeah, pick Russell or John. <laughs> yeah. you, first of all, do you know who's who? <laughs> I've known you a while, yeah. and it's nice that John is still on the side, because you often... Yeah, John, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, close enough. It's I close prefer enough. comedy by far. By far. Because I wouldn't have met you two if I didn't do music. If I had oh, done music, would I? You're nice as well as good, aren't I you? Am, aren't I am, That's terrifying. <laughs> well, we have organised a very ridiculous game to play with you, Jordan Gray. Okay. If you wouldn't mind, would you like to play a game with Ross and John right now? We're not doing one of your we stupid are of games. Of course we are. Mate. I always have to do a game. You said this last week. Yeah. Last month. Uh, last last time. month feels like a week ago. <laughs> and we said that we were just going to do the serious stuff, yeah, but get this, the guests on. Yeah, but this one's going to be brilliant. This one's called Fifteen Shades of Greys. Of Greys? Yeah. As in the town? No, not the town. <laughs> as in different types of grey, as in Jordan Grey. Like Fifty that. Shades of Grey, Fifteen yeah. Shades of Grey. I think it sounds perfect. All right, well, let's do it then. All right, well, right. it's very simple, Jordan. All you have to do is guess whether or not this is a genuine shade of grey or if it's a ridiculous shade of grey that I've made up. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. yeah, because it's got my name in it, so I'm involved. Yeah, I'm there's, interested. there's 15 of these in total. Thanks very much to Craig and Rose Colour Charts. Official colours since 1829. That's what we do. Before there was colour, before there was colour TV. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they'll be buzzing about the amount of traction we've got them after that. Shut up, here they come. Right. Uh, is this a real life grey or not a real life grey? I own a white. Made that up, that's a place. No, it's Go a real away. one, real one. Barony. Real grey. Barry. Barony. Barony. Real. Real grey, correct. Esther Hazy. And that's my mate, and she's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real grey. Sturdy room blue. That's got blue in it, so no. No, it's technically a grey. Ex <laughs> Exposition grey. No, you made that up. No, definitely a real one. <laughs> Almost grey. Definitely a grey. That is actually a grey, yes. yes. Uh, what about definitely grey? No, that's, that's an album by Oasis. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely, maybe. Uh, finally, uh, no, not finally, uh, in this section. Uh, eight's not grey at all. Not, that's not grey. Yeah, correct. Uh, next door's cat. <laughs> no. Oh, you're right. Uh, is, this the, is this the grey to Amarillo? <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be real. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> that's definitely a grey. Grey's Lightning. <laughs> no. Steel Pole. Oh, uh, what? Zeitgeist. <laughs> yes. Finally, Grandmother's Whiskers. Oh, yes. Yes, congratulations. Yes. You have got a whole bunch of those correct. 
I'll add up the totals, and that's how many songs you can do on the next show. And Thanks it, very much. It, it means nothing, it means nothing. Jordan. It means nothing. Um, I knew. I mean, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Jordan Gray, everyone. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Uh, we had the privilege a couple of weeks ago of catching up with some real life heroes down at the South End RNNI. Yes, we did. Uh, and it's not just ridiculous stuff that we do. We've got some incredible footage that we'd like to show you right now. So keep your eyes peeled for this. Notes on your telly. Notes on your telly. Here we are down at the South End RNLI Lifeboat Station, and with us today is Frank, an actual real life lifeboat hero. Yes, thanks so much for joining us today, Frank. I really appreciate you having me on the show. Thank you. So, obviously, it's a very serious job that you're doing down here. You are uh, another emergency service, of course. What's the hardest part of your job? So, the hardest part of the job um, during the summer months is actually coming down to the station. So, when the pager goes off when we're sitting at home, uh, we've got 10 minutes to get down here, get kitted up. Uh, From get, home? Yeah, and get the boats launched. So it's, it can be a challenge. Um, that's, a, that's a guideline. During the summer months, it can be a lot longer than that because the seafront does get quite blocked. Of course. Uh, and quite often we have to dump our cars and run oh my uh, to make sure we can get down here quick enough. Yeah. Um, so obviously, like I say, very serious job, lots of horrendous things that you must have to experience, but there's got to be some highlights to the job as well. What would you say is, is one of the highlights of, of doing what you do? I'd say one of the highlights of being part of the RNLI is when you genuinely help someone that was in trouble. Um, quite often when you go to someone, you can see um, that without your help, um, they would have ended up in a lot worse situation sure. than what they actually was. Probably one of the most recent um, live saves that I did was actually on the Mulberry Harbour. Um, I was actually stationed inshore. Uh, we'd just done a job and we got a call from the Coast Guards um, that there was a family cut off by the tide um, walking back. Um, so we've launched the hovercraft and we got there and there was a mother and a child about three quarters of a mile offshore uh, up to their waist in water. Oh my um, God. So we had to put the hovercraft down, pick the baby up and then have to pull the mother on board. Um, but without the intervention of the hovercraft, um, then That's it, game over. Yeah, it was definitely two life saves that day. Unbelievable. Incredible work. So 10 minutes to get from your house to lifeboat in the water. That's that's the general time frame. You don't just rock up in your in your jogging bottom shorts and polo shirt. You need a bit of kit on, don't you? Yes, we. Well, I do rock up in this, <laughs> yeah. um, but then we have to get changed before we go out on the boat, and that can be one of the hardest parts as well. And when we start training, uh, it really does get drilled into us how to get change, uh, changed quickly, um, yeah. so that we can be as efficient as possible and get the boat in the water as quickly as possible. What's the quickest someone's ever got ready? I can do it in about 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Yeah. I can do it in about 30 seconds as well, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon 27. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind racing John at getting all that stuff on, what do you reckon? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I, I think, think he can get his kit off quicker, but I reckon I can get it on quicker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Frank, before we do that, could you just tell everyone a little bit about how they can find out more information on the South End RNLI and of course, more importantly, how they can donate? Yeah, so the South End RNLI, we've got a, a website and we've also got all of the socials, so you can find out loads of information on there about how to get involved and also all of the latest things that we've been doing. Um, if you want to donate, uh, we've got a Just Giving page that you can donate to that goes straight to the South End RNLI station. Uh, otherwise, you can go through the RNLI website and that goes to the charity organisation as a whole. And where does that money go when, when people donate? What sort of stuff does that go? I mean, I mean obviously, there's a big orange thing. That this, <laughs> yeah. I imagine this cost a few quid. Uh, this cost about £330,000. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and it, it needs replacement now, actually. Really? It's coming up to, I think, 14 years old. Wow, what are you going to so, do yeah. with the old one? I mean, yeah, you want to I mean, auction it yeah, off. This is exactly how I should be turning up to gigs. <laughs> that's, a tall, that's a tall boat for us, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the cox and I'll be the helm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no doubt about that. <laughs> but, yeah, but the rest of the money goes on to things like training. So we've got a training college uh, down in Paul in Dorset um, and also all of the infrastructure so we've got the boat houses um, and then all of the tractors and, and, and all of the other vessels that we've got yes yeah, it does get spent wisely I can imagine and quickly I imagine as well. <laughs> Very quickly. Frank thank you so much for thank coming you. on mate really thank appreciate you. it Cheers. and let's go and get that kit on yeah. sunshine I'm still absolutely fuming. I didn't let us have a go in that massive boat. Stop it! You don't get to play in every toy you see. <laughs> Ridiculous boy. Uh, so that is our second challenge. So last week we had a cocktail challenge. John, you're one up. I did. I, I, I won up. I won. I'm, I am one up. You're one up. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you're one up. And um, that was our second challenge. 
So you now at home need to decide who you think can get their kit on quickest. Yes. Not who you want to get their quick on kit. No, and, and not who you want to get their kit off quickest, which is a very, <laughs> very different show. Uh, so let's chuck it around the room, I think, first of all. Let's, yeah. let's, go, let's to go to Jordan Gray, first of all. Where is the amazing Jordan Gray? Jordan, are you there? Oh, hello, you've come to join us over here. Hello, 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 you cheeky devil. I spotted a mirror in the corner and I couldn't stop myself from uh, my own reflection. Jordan, who, you, who do you think uh, got their kit on quickest? On? On. From personal experience with you two, yeah. after our <laughs> activities together, I'll say you're the quick addresser. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, all right. So Jordan's <laughs> vote goes to John Oakes. Uh, let's go over to the RNLI, the wonderful folk from the RNLI. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> here they are. They are. That's Look unbelievable, that. isn't it? Those handsome devils. All right, who do you think got dressed quicker? Do you think it was myself or do you think it was Ross? Let's speak to the Viking guy first. <laughs> <laughs> what oh! You, what, oh! Do you, what do you think, mate? Let's go with Ross. Oh, okay. So we've got one vote for John, one vote for Ross. Let's go to Kasabian, our wonderful barman, please. What do you think, Kasabian? Is it about putting, people putting clothes on? Yes. yes. This is not for me. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, let's go to Darren Jones in the long run. Darren Jones, who do you think got their kit on the quickest? Um, I'd say John. Whoa! Oh, it's looking good for me. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, less material is right up John's street. <laughs> You're lucky I'm wearing clothes now. <laughs> Underneath this, I'm completely naked. <laughs> Darren, while you're here, mate, would you mind playing a, few, uh, a song for us now? Would you mind? Yep, it'd be an honour. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the, the long, long run! run!
Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I but just... His, I mean, and he wears hats. It's, it's proper talent, What's isn't it? What's not to like? That's the long run there, with a little bit of added Ross McGrain scurrying along in front of the camera. <laughs> going to grab, but I'm going to grab something very important, What John. have you got there, Ross McGrain? I've got the Long Run's album. Oh, you lucky devil. It's right here. Darren, are you, are you there, mate? Where's Darren? Here Darren, he can you hear us? I can hear you, yeah. Thanks, oh, mate. You Darren, very well, this one. Thanks very much, mate. You're looking like a cool Jesus over there. I'll try my best, yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us about your album that's on sale. Uh, our new album, uh, all the songs on it are written about our hometown of Canvey Island, all the legends and folklore. So um, if you're from Canvey or want to know about it, buy that album. <laughs> Wonderful. Work, mate. Excellent work. Give it a round of applause for the long run. Woo! Woo! Ah, so we... Before you saw a wonderful track from the long run, you of course watched uh, a VT of us down at the RNLI. Yes, uh, putting our clothes on. Uh, we thought about doing it the other way around, but then we realised that no one would watch it. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, you can get a, a, an autobiography. Stop it, no, stop okay. it. No, <laughs> let's not go there. Let's not go there. But of course, we set you the challenge of working out who you thought would get their kit on quickest. Was it Ross McGrain or was it John Oakes? Well, we're about to find out. Run the VT! Notes on your telly. Yeah. Notes on your telly. Okay, so here we are now in what I'm going to call the hub. Yes, it is the hub of the RNLI in South End, and it is packed full of a uh, really fancy looking kit. This is basically the back room of TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> it's much more glamorous than the back room of TK Maxx. Uh, speaking of which, it's time for us to try on some of this awesome kit. So who's going to go first, Ross? You or me? So this is a challenge, yeah. right? So whoever can do it the quickest. Well, I mean, it's obviously going to be me, but we'll see. Why, why did you always assume that it'll be you? Because I feel like it probably takes you two hours to get changed at the best of times. It's look at this. <laughs> I literally threw this on. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we should do rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses goes first. How about that? Loses goes first. Whoever loses... Whoever wins go first. Whoever wins goes first or loses goes loses first. Loses goes oh, first. Or whatever, let's do it. Okay, ready? Yeah. On three, not after three, on three. On three. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, come on! All right, so I'll go first then. That's all right. Okay. I'll set the time, I'll set the pace. I'll be like the pace car. Right, you get out of here and it's time for me to meet the awesome Ian Keenan. Let's go and watch how not to do this. So, uh, this is the wonderful Ian. Please join me. Here he is, hey, Ian right. Keenan. Thanks very much. Ian, of course, uh, you are one of the volunteers at the RNLI uh, and Great. also one of the trainers as well. So you're used to helping people like me who've never done it before put this kit on. Yes, so I'll be patient uh, and we'll do it slowly as we can. <laughs> <laughs> it probably will be slowly, I'm afraid. I'll give you lots of instructions. That'd be ideal. Because uh, we need to get it on properly, but we need to get it on promptly. Okay, all right. Well, I am ready. I'm ready when you are. So why don't we start the timer in three, two, one. Over Shoes to off. You. Oh. Right, so shoes off, this is the easy part. One. Okay, so the first thing is the woolly bear. Right. It's not a real woolly bear. That's a shame. <laughs> My turn. Ready? Let's do this, born okay. ready. Ready, steady, go. Okay, so the first thing is we need to get the suit on. Okay. D no, no, get your trousers off. You said your trousers off. Shoes off. Your get your shoes off. off. I'm trying to do this properly. <laughs> John, why don't you tell me? Get your shoes off. You can leave your trousers on for this. Oh, I'm already <laughs> 10 seconds behind. So we're gonna go. This first. This first. Go right, this on. is the this is the, the, the monkey costume. It's got stirrups in it. Yeah, don't worry about those. What happens if my feet don't come out the bottom? Alright, there we go, I've got it, I've got it, I've sorted it. Okay. Right, so you're yeah. gonna hold it with both hands. Right. That's it, that hand, that's it. Try and get your foot all the way in. Oh, a minute. Get it all the way into the welly. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Have you got a kid's one? Uh, no, they do in the gift shop though. <laughs> uh, oh, they <laughs> fall over. Take your time. I know you're racing, but... Uh, there we go, lovely. You in? And these knee patches. Okay, so That's just... Right. Okay, so first things first. One arm first. Okay, don't put the other arm in yet. Take your hat off. <laughs> oh, I thought about that. Take your hat off. Okay, so head first. Head first, not the arm. Gently. There you go, it's like being recalled again. <laughs> <laughs> is this supposed to be this tight around the neck? <laughs> yes. Does it give you a... You, don't, you, you don't want the water in. Right. Okay, head first. All right, just nice and gently. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Let me just help you. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Stay there, I've got a choice. Flashbacks from being born. Oh my word, what is this? Nice so this is your life jacket. Right. That's what you think. Okay. <gasps> right. Excuse me. Oh, hello. <laughs> 
We're friends here, aren't we? We're friends. So zip first. Right. I'll address it someone else. <laughs> much quicker in real life. <laughs> that clips on. Clip. Excuse me. Six shoes, sir. What's going on here? Pull that a bit tighter, please. <laughs> okay. And then. Okay. Breathe out. Out. <laughs> Stay there, breathe out. That was in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't breathe in. You need to breathe out, otherwise you won't breathe in again. Helmet. Helmet. Can't you can do, do it. You can do it on your own. And then clip the chin. Okay, and just a clip underneath the chin. Done. Perfect. Stop the timer. Do the clip. Come on, come on. Done. Yes. <laughs> right, now let's have a fight. Come on. <laughs> That was good, wasn't it? What an amazing time we've had down at the RNLI this morning. Yeah, I mean, for all the falling around, they are actual proper heroes, aren't they? Yeah, please do make sure you check out their website and find out ways to donate. Yes, you can donate via their Just Giving page. Uh, but I think now it's time to head back to those two handsome devils in the studio. One of my favourite things I've ever seen is you not, not remembering which is breathing out or which is breathing in. <laughs> Can we just take a second? Simon, have you got that spare tiny little clip there? Because there's a wonderful moment where we see Ross forget that and the panic in his eyes is beautiful. Could we see that moment again, please? Is that all right? Just enjoy this for a second. OK, stay there. Breathe out. <gasps> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't breathe in. You need to breathe out, otherwise you won't breathe in again. <laughs> Literally an idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes breathing's hard, mate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Breathe out, in, there's so many variables. <laughs> Oh, anyway, look, you're all watching at home. We really appreciate you doing that. Thanks very much. Take this opportunity now to share the stream, share it to your friends, share it to your enemies. We don't, don't care. Know. We're not proud to share it to anyone you want. We're man. artists, mate. After lockdown, likes a currency. Oh. So, you know, we've got about 17 quid now. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's find out uh, what you wonderful people have been saying in the comments. And to do so, let's head over to our wonderful bar steward, Kasabian. How's it going, mate? What? Uh, how, how are the comments going? How's it oh, going yes, yes. Very well. They're coming in like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> could we see? Could we see some of them? Oh, please? you want to hear yeah, them? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you're very busy, but I mean, it is a midweek night. You know, <laughs> the rush will be on in a minute. <laughs> it's been a great night, actually. Lots of people getting involved. Lots of support. It's nice to see. Very positive. Very Good. positive. Good. I don't Good. like Good. negative stuff. You all know. All positive. Uh, I don't. I'm not a battery, buddy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so we've got the... Uh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we've got uh, a couple of people. Paul Finch, he says, Woohoo! <laughs> um, at least, you know, I'm not too sure on the spelling. I'm guessing that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, Jenny Wilson, good luck! Thanks. Uh, that was at the beginning. Thanks, Misha Jenny. Emmons says, Amazing! <laughs> uh, no exclamation mark. Oh... <laughs> So it might have, they How might, amazing was it? They might have whispered amazing, which is sinister, I'd wager. <laughs> amazing! <laughs> I mean, I've heard that a few times, to be honest. <laughs> kind of like the whisper better, you know? <laughs> uh, then uh, Jenny Rose Bannum uh, says, Good evening, just to Ross. Not, not, not you. <laughs> Uh, uh, must have uh, been mentally dressing me with her eyes in that last bit. <laughs> and watching, watching you uh, birth yourself through that rubber <laughs> hole is enough to put anybody off dinner forever. <laughs> it, uh, it was, you say people do this in 30 seconds? Yes, it was like watching a mole try to fly a kite. It was terrible. <laughs> uh, you guys weren't good, but uh, never mind. Hey, uh, Terry Ollie says, hey, Jordan. <laughs> Just for Jordan, that one. Excellent. Uh, Tony Groves is uh, sending personal messages to Janin and Rose, but I'm guessing they were trying to say Janet. Ah. Please get in touch and let us know. I am desperate to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patricia Burton says, great interview. I'm guessing that was the Jordan one and not this one because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's about it. Thanks, Thanks very work. much. Hey, Amazing. hey. You guys have been great, okay? <laughs> Just remember, you can't be as good as me, but you are doing really well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I think John and Ross, they're really going somewhere. Yeah, that's the way John, to do it. Hold on. 
It's Ross and John, mate. Whatever. It's not Dick and Ant, is it? <laughs> Ross. What kind of name is Ross? Ross. Ross sounds like a weird sound. Who named you this? What, is, <laughs> what, what is Ross short for? Eh? What's Ross short for? Uh, I've got little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! That's the money shot, baby. Uh, right, thanks, Kasabian. Appreciate that. Keep your comments coming in, and uh, Kasabian will be going through those throughout the show. Oh, me. Uh, <laughs> the Slick Boys. Oh. Up next, uh, we are going to be talking to an incredible street artist, John Bully. <laughs> right, Upside down. The Did you? <laughs> oh, yes. you are an idiot. So for those that are local to South End on Sea and the surrounding areas would have noticed that during the South End Arts Festival a couple of weeks ago, these incredible street art installations went up. Uh, genuinely breathtaking and phenomenal. Uh, and our very own correspondent in the field, Liam, went to go and meet the artist behind those paintings. Not on your telly. Not on your telly. Hello, I'm Liam Holmes and Today, I'm out and about exploring this fascinating street art that's quite obviously within the community, but many of us, including myself, just tend to walk past and don't even pay attention. But today, I'm paying attention. Let's go. Excuse me, guys. Uh -oh. Apologies for interrupting your journey, but what do you think of this? Oh, I've walked that past that every Thursday when I go to the library and then noticed how big it was before. Wow, so it, it took me stopping you to actually realise yes. how impressive yeah. it actually is. That's incredible. Yeah. Lovely bit of culture for South End. Oh, incredibly. So, yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Amazing. What do you think of this? I love it. I love tigers and it's sort of beautiful colours. What does it bring to the community? For you? I think a bit of life. Like it's nice yeah. to walk around a corner and see something nicely yeah. painted instead sure. of just seeing the same old, same walls. And right now I'm here with local legend John Bully, painter extraordinaire, street artist. Hi John. Hello. How are you doing mate? I'm good. I'm very good. Thank you. I've had the very fortunate experience to see so many wonderful artworks around town today and just to get to meet yourself John Bully who is also obviously a local legend. Uh, people know of you, people talk about you. And um, I believe you was recently a part of the South End Festival. Well, that's where all this came from, all this street art, this Clarence Road street art. Alison Dewey from the council um, is now very keen on getting community art up and running. So back in January, February, we planned the whole festival. We did a whole bunch of stuff, music, art, you name it, we did it. Finally, we've got somebody on board was really involved in community art. So, big up, Alison Dewey. As you can see behind us, we've got an incredible piece of art. Could you tell me a little bit more about this artist? He's actually called Dan Kitchener. He's from Rochford, and he's incredibly, well, as you can see, he's amazing. He does amazing stuff. He's internationally renowned. I mean, he's everywhere. It was important for us to get local people involved. So we've got Scotty B, we've got Dank, we've got a whole bunch of other people involved all local, all fabulous. We're hoping that now this is up, that people will see it, and the council will see it, mm -hmm. and think, this is a really good idea, let's get some more funding, let's do some more of this stuff. Fingers crossed, that's what we're hoping for, now that they've seen this amazing stuff. And now I'm joined by Scotty Brave, who has been an influential part of the South End Arts Festival. Scotty, we've heard a lot about you, and I know that this backdrop right here is your doing. Um, could, you, could you tell us a little bit about this whole thing? Well, I was pleased to have the opportunity to do like a, a great big piece of spray can art because I've been doing this work for over 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I've been on and on about how, uh, you know, the power of street art and, and the fact that there's loads of blank spaces for it in town. And so yeah, when John Bully come to me and said, oh, Scotty, you know, we've got permission for these walls. I went, right, okay, we've, you know, we've waited a long time for it. Um, let's do something really with high impact mm -hmm. and make people go, oh, do you know what? This town needs more of that. And they did. Every, everyone we spoke to said, oh, this is brilliant. We want to see more of this. Um, you know, it's, it's powerful. Um, and I was glad to be uh, able to get people that I know, regular like painters and people that I've grown up with involved as well, local people. 
Yeah, incredible, Scotty. So by the sounds of it, for many years you walked past what was essentially a blank canvas and you dreamed of putting art to the walls. The whole, the whole street is a canvas to me, you know? Oh, like when, I, when I walk down the street, I see places, often they're occupied by adverts and whatnot. But I think, do you know what? Art would look good there. And, um, you know, I'm in the process of trying to make some of these spaces become spaces for art. And uh, as I say, it was nice to be able to do that at the South End Art Festival. Scotty, thank you so much. No worries, it's man. It's been an absolute pleasure, brother. Yeah, cool. And thank you for touring me around and showing me your work. It's been great. Thanks nice again, Cheers. Yeah, man. Yes. And we're joined now in the studio by Liam, of course. Here he is. Hello, mate. Hello. Oh, oh there he look is. At that. <laughs> Liam, looking put out, put out fresh off the cover of a self-help magazine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How's Thank your mum's been, mate? Yeah, my mum's been really good. Thank you. I've really enjoyed the process of meeting the mega talented artists that are around South End area as well. Where it's been a big part of my month, really, uh, getting prepared for that. And uh, but generally, yeah, really, really busy with, with life and uh, yeah, enjoying life. And Good. what was your key takeaway from meeting these incredible artists, mate? What did you learn? Well, talent's everywhere, right? Um, I personally love to watch talent. I can watch talent all day long. I admire talent, whatever kind of talent it is. I really appreciate how, John, you've put so much effort into your career. And um, you really have established <laughs> yourself into such a fine, fine artist. So... Sorry, to you, that, my could friend. you just say talent a couple of times, please? <laughs> yeah, talent. <laughs> more, more talent, mate. More talent. talent. <laughs> Speaking of which, John on? Billy, you'll almost be talented enough to buy one more shirt, which would be nice. Oh, <laughs> steady, mate. Oh, I, I love no, the no, fact no, that you no, wore no. the same thing as the BT. I love you for it. Steady. Thanks very much. I work too hard, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, yeah. John, thanks so much for coming on, mate. You were the artistic director for the South End Arts Festival this year. I was. Uh, we worked together on it. I did the comedy side of things. You did, you did the actual talent, actually. Yeah, yeah the real talent. The yeah, real yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. uh, and we're going to find out just how talented John and I really are now. You've got a little challenge for us, haven't you? I have. Okay, talk us through it, mate. Okay, fair dues. Now, look. I've got two serious bits of paper. This is proper stuff, all right? Okay, you won't have had this at school, all right? This is paper? Proper, proper paper. No, no Cecil Jones. Seriously. <laughs> paper. No, <laughs> it's silly. The only don't, paper we had was uh, made out of Rizla. Yeah, don't lick one end of that. <laughs> one. <laughs> Hold up. Proper pencils. Oh, Ooh, lovely. All right. 2B or not 2B? That is yeah. the question. 3B. Hey, come on yeah. now. What are, you, what, are you, what are you not doing here? <laughs> Don't gentlemen. patronise me <laughs> and Gen give him the laugh. Gentlemen. Hold on a minute, what is, that? what is that? What is that? We have what? a picture for you to draw, all right? Okay. You, uh, 60 seconds? Yes, I'll time it. Okay, go. Good. All right. Oh, wait, we started. <laughs> I haven't seen the picture, are you, lads? You timed it in your mind. <laughs> Come on, lads, ready? Okay. I'll, I'll give you money. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, my goodness, it's me. Mom. It's a picture of me. Right, okay, here we go, here we go, right. Okay, so we've got, we got, we got the leg coming up here. We've got a bit of a hip dip going on. I mean, hip dip is fashionable Excellent. nowadays. That's brilliant. Thanks Just very leave much. Just leave it there. Thanks Stop there, Stop. I mean, you say that. Uh, right, okay, so this all, this all needs to be shaded around the back of there. Don't He's got a very tight bottom, hasn't he? get his bottom in. Quick, get the bottom. <laughs> Stop it, you lot back there. <laughs> Nobody take on, a, a, like, this is the, needs a, a, this is a, I, I've done I an unnecessary, love it, I love it. unnecessarily good, square good, crease. Good. I didn't yeah, mean yeah. to do that. No, no, Hold on a minute, look at Russ's, this no, no, is quite on, good. Very, it's very tight, this is very, yeah. keep it tight. Sorry, yes, you're right, there's not a lot of time. Uh, let's go <laughs> just down, ass, the, just anyway, down the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, and we've got a bit of an arm coming yeah, out there. What's that he's holding on to there? 35. Uh, hands, come on, come on, lads, hands are so hard. Why are hands so hot? Mine looks like he's got a broom. Uh, right, we've got a little thing on the bottom of there. Here we go. Here we go. supposed to be drawing that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going really well so far. Uh, and then we need a bit of hair across the come top on, of there. Come on, lads, keep going, keep going. Wonderful. You're Mine's doing got great. a mullet. What's all there, Coach? Oh, yours has got a face. Oh, why have you cheated? Uh, right, I'll just draw his face. 22. Nose, nose, and then... 20 seconds, lads. Now. 20 seconds. A little tree in the background there. <laughs> yeah. No, see what it is yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you need a tighter <laughs> ass, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? Go, go away! Come on, come on. Go away! You're a cheater. Okay. Oh. You have, you have. Mine is. Oh, this is. I mean, I've tried really hard. Ten. Here's the thing. No. Eight, no. Eight, no. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stop. <laughs> Can the camera see these? I 
mean? Oh, oh, the camera. Yeah. Where's the camera? So this is what we're working with here. Where are we? We're over here. Look, look at that. That's what we're working with. Right. Um, I, I, I will admit, wait. I've had a little sure. bit of an advantage in that that poster wait, wait. is actually on my bedroom wall. <laughs> Could you sign these, please, so we know Can who... Sign yeah, it? So yeah. they're worth Absolutely. even less. What a yeah, great yeah, idea. Yeah. Right, OK. Here we and go. We'll hold them up to the camera. How do you read that? How'd you read that? How'd you draw that, mate? I don't know about read this. Goodness sake. Can you still draw that? Yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right. me, that is. That's not you. That looks like that looks That's animated. Me. Right, look. Listen, right, here's the thing. Yeah, hold it up. Here's the thing yeah. I here's the thing I wanna say is <laughs> is Woo! I'm, yes. I mean that is Well, it's impossible. They're such, they're so close. They're both so good. It's impossible to work out who is going to be the winner. I can't believe you've drawn that in the top picture. That is absolutely Well, that's, that's a little, you know, it's, it's a little yeah. caricature of myself. Excellent. Mm, well, what's, what's going to um, happen now is we need somebody to judge which one of these two is the winner. And since they're yeah. both such high quality pictures, I think there's only one person who could possibly judge them. Oh, who's that then? I think it's the person who has the most experience with drawing on a regular basis. Okay, so John Bully, the no, artist. No, 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 the opposite of that. I think that somebody who is, who's fresh, who's new, who knows about drawing from the heart, I think we should have the person who uh, has the incredible... Oh, well, spit it out, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Lexi McGrain, everybody. I, I think it should be Lexi. Now, of course, Lexi has the scoreboard for us, and she is, of course, going to... Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is, what is, what is that you've got there? made a scoreboard for... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I that, think that's pretty decent. That's the scoreboard you've made, and yet I, I notice one side is very heavily decorated and one side isn't decorated at all. Have you got a favourite? <laughs> Who's your favourite? Oh, <laughs> savage. All right, well, well, let's find out who's... Uh, well, we should probably update the board first, shouldn't we, before we go any further. OK, so uh, you won last week, didn't you? I did, I did win last so week. So you can put you a, a one there. Just put a little line Oh, he's got it, he's me. got it. Look at oh, that, he's a pro, he's a pro. Have you noticed the detail, the little sad face? The sad face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I won the RNLI you did win dress the challenge. RNLI so you put a little dress line challenge. there. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. And now we need That's to only decide. one line. She's done a little extra line there. That's cheating. That's already. two cheating. points for me. She's Thanks not, very not much. Two points for you. Um, now you have to choose which out of these two you think looks the best. Now bear in mind, bear in mind oh. uh, that the that the, the, uh, Ross obviously. Uh, had a bit more time, and he's drawn that picture in the top corner, which I think you should take into consideration. Which is your favourite? Bear in mind, if you want to eat tonight, then <laughs> <laughs> there's only one real choice. Uh, I think I like getting zombies. Oh! oh! Come on! <laughs> High five! Well done. She likes... She likes Daddy's won the best, so that's another point to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Please give it up one more time for Lexi! Lexi! Well done, mate. Thanks very much. And thank you, of course, to John Bully as well for setting us this incredible art challenge. I can Thanks, only John. apologise because that is embarrassing. I think that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yours is that's all right, mate. A bit of impression, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yours, you yours is all right. And we'll be right. auctioning that for charity after the show. <laughs> um, Good luck with that, mate. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Right, OK, so that makes it 2-1 uh, to me on the Ross v John Challenge, a brand new one of those, next month. Oh. <laughs> that was very confident, considering we have no idea when the next show will be. That'll be next month, right? It, next month-ish. If you have enjoyed the show so far, we'd really love for you to like the page if you haven't done so already, and please share it to anybody you think might be enjoying it. Yes, uh, but now, only one more thing left to do, and that is another song from the long run, so please make some noise. Woo! Bash your keyboard! Yeah! Yeah!
time for this evening thank you so much for joining us at home yes thanks for sticking us on and uh, do share it around your mates and stuff like that and you know otherwise this is pointless isn't it <laughs> <laughs> there's only one thing if you touch that then they can hear that through the thing oh, yeah, uh, here's uh, one important thing we need to do before we go and that's say a big thank you to everybody you've seen tonight please go wild and crazy and keep that going for Jordan Gray <laughs> the amazing folks from the RNLI we had Kasabian doing our comments as well we had the awesome John Bully, we had Liam Holmes, and of course, the incredible band, The Long Run, as well. Thanks very much to them and everyone. And all the people behind the scenes as well, Simon of Deadline Communications, Joe Lamb and Paul from Soundcastle, the wonderful studio audience. My daughter. We'll see you next time on Martin Telly. Good night. Thank Bye. You. We got that cool chat, who's that? Always at the ready. Happy go lucky, and we're not on your telly. Fun times, cross lines, serendipity. Relax into something, not on your telly. Hey, what, mate? Not on your telly. Oh, right, I got you, yeah. Makes sense now, too. Not on your telly.